Next up is Sharon Rockefeller. Sharon Percy Rockefeller has served the public media community for more than 40 years. She's been president and CEO of WETA, DC's flagship public media station for 32 years since 1989. She grew up in Kenilworth and attended Joseph Sears Elementary School, following in the footsteps of her father, Senator Charles Percy, who graduated from New Tour in 1937. Mrs. Rockefeller was a member of the graduating class of 62, and during her time in New Trier, she ran for class offices with her identical twin sister, Valerie, and sang in the New Trier Choir, played tennis, spoke fluent French, and enjoyed lasting friendships with many of her fellow classmates. Now here, because she couldn't be here this evening, is a short video from Sharon Rockefeller. Oh, Sharon. For better or worse, throughout my life, I've been the recipient of many awards, but tonight's honor has tremendous personal significance for me. It is far more meaningful, especially since my father, Senator Charles Percy, was also inducted into New Trier's Wall of Honor. Denise told me that we are the only multi-generational family on the wall. My father was the source of great joy, love, and leadership in my life. I've tried to emulate his work ethic, seriousness of purpose, and kindness. My years as a student at New Trier provided me with some of the happiest memories, not only for the stellar education I received and the enduring friendships that I made, but because I walked to school every day along Sheridan Road on Lake Michigan with my identical twin sister, Valerie who passed away tragically just a few months after we graduated, respectively, from Stanford and Cornell universities. I will never forget the anticipation, the excitement, and thrill of our first day as New Trier students. To do well, a lot of energy and discipline were required. What a great training for the challenges of real life. My father graduated from New Trier in 1937. He was incredibly proud of that achievement. Growing up, he always shared the story of how he and his parents wanted the best education possible for him and his siblings. They worked tirelessly until they were able financially to move from the south and west sides of Chicago to a home in Wilmette within the school's boundaries. Valerie and I grew up in awe of New Trier and arrived on the doorstep in 1958. Two energetic and determined young women who read and studied every waking moment, anxious to carry on the Percy legacy and prepared to make a difference. Some of my dad's longest standing friendships were those he made at New Trier. The same is true for me. Valerie and I were fully prepared to take advantage of every opportunity that high school offered us. Part of New Trier's mission is to commit, quote, minds to inquiry and hearts to compassion. The faculty at New Trier provided so much they encouraged open dialogue, tons of reading, which has been my primary lifelong habit, and challenged us to think, to read, to study, and to work hard. We learned the importance of balancing these hard-charging, ambitious goals with empathy, which can often be overlooked. New Trier provided us with an education of the most superior quality. With thousands of competitive students, along with job skills for life that we would need as we pursued our dreams. My years at New Trier played a defining role in my life and served as the catalyst for any future success. I would like to focus on another part of New Trier's mission tonight, the commitment to, quote, lives to the service of humanity. 
I've spent 48 years volunteering for and being employed by and loving public media, public broadcasting. Now as CEO of WETA, the Washington DC public television and radio station like WTTW in Chicago. I have been utterly devoted to my job for the past 31 years. We produce the PBS NewsHour, Washington Week, and all of the documentaries of Ken Burns and Dr. Henry Louis Skip Gates, Jr. With polarizing events at home and abroad, coupled with misinformation, disinformation, and social upheaval, quote, service to humanity can sometimes feel like a difficult struggle. At New Trier, we were taught to engage in civil discourse, to listen to other points of view, and to act in a way that is both respectful and humane. For some of us, that may be as simple as sitting down with a child or grandchild and talking through their problems. My husband, Jay, former senator from West Virginia, and I have four children and eight grandchildren. Sometimes there's no need for me to talk too much. I just listen and care intently. For some in the business world, as I am, or serving as chairman of the Board of Trustees of the National Gallery of Art, as a member of the Board of Trustees of the Rockefeller Foundation or Museum of Modern Art in New York City, there is the necessity to strive for a diverse, inclusive, and positive work environment. Since I became CEO of WETA in 1989, I have maintained an open door policy so that every one of our 450 employees can feel comfortable coming into my office, sitting down with me one-on-one -on -one to express their concerns. The unique challenges of the pandemic with accompanying feelings of isolation and uncertainty have made personal connections even more relevant. Nutrier provided us with the tools to be innovative thinkers, future leaders, compassionate in our words and actions, and to live each day working hard to make a difference in the countless lives we touch. I shall forever treasure my years as a Nutrier student and the lasting impact that the school has had on me personally, professionally, and intellectually. Finally, I encourage you to think about these words from the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., which always resonated with me. Quote, everyone has the power for greatness, not for fame, but greatness, because greatness is determined by service. My advice is to choose a life larger than yourself. Mission motivates and helps us all to foster the national conversation and civic participation, which are fundamental to the success of our democracy. I offer my sincere congratulations to all of tonight's award recipients. Thank you for sharing this event and prestigious award with me. I am supremely grateful to all of the wonderful people who have created New Trier High School.